Hey everybody, this is Jaffe coming at you with a really quick uh, tutorial on PHP and MySQL Lite. Uh, Anthony at, at Pinehead had done uh, some SQL Lite stuff with uh, JavaScript and Titanium, and I figured I'd just show you a quick tip on how to create a database and get uh, some information into it and out of it with PHP. So let's get started. I have a file here called index.php and I've got my opening and closing PHP tags. So first thing to do to create a database is going to be really, really easy. I'm just going to type database. This is a variable equals new s. <coughs> excuse me, you have to excuse me. I am a little bit ill. But uh, hopefully not for long. So where are we going to put that? We're going to call it my database.db and we're just going to put it in our folder now. So all I need to do is run this and obviously there's nothing that shows up but when we go back into Dreamweaver and refresh we now have our database. So we're just going to leave that open. I'm going to do everything in one file here and we'll just end up I'll just end up commenting stuff out. So we're going to create the SQL variable and we are going to create a table. Oops, and we're going to call this table guests. That will work. And let's input some information into this table. Let's create a a incremental integer this everybody gets a number as they get put into so this is easy we just put integer and we'll make that the primary key <clears throat> and it'll automatically uh, increment as more information is going in let's do a first name and we're gonna make that a text field do last name make that a text field and the comments section and we'll make that a text field as well so there is that. We'll end this. And now we just need to make this run. So in order to do that, we're going to grab that variable database and we are going to query that. And we are going to run this in the query. Pretty simple. Let me go ahead and save that and we're going to refresh this page. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Of course, nothing happened. Nothing happened in here um, be, that you can see, but we have now entered a table with some rows called guest ID, first name, last name, and comments. So let's comment this out because it'll it'll give me an error saying table already exists and blah blah blah. So we'll comment it out so it doesn't run again and I am pouring some tea into my glass because I am drinking lots of tea today because I am feeling like shit. I don't even know if I'm going to edit that out. I'm just going to keep it in. All right, so let's enter some information into the database. So we're going to say insert into and we're going to insert into guests and the fields are going to be the first name and the last name and the comments area and the information we're going to enter in let's go ahead and start a new line is going to be values and let's see the first value will be Jeffy that's me and my last name is Nanya Business. And the comment is going to be I am feeling like poop. And let's see, that will take care of that. Do I want to add anything else or just, just this one last thing? Uh, yeah, you know what? We will just end with that there. So let's run this. So we're going to grab this again, database. 
and we're going to execute a query. Oops, what is going on here with my keys? Execute a query, and this is the one we're going to execute. And save it, and let's go back in here and refresh. And obviously, you don't see anything because, well, there's nothing to show. So let's go ahead and show some stuff now. So I'm going to go ahead and comment this stuff out so it doesn't run again. And let's get some stuff with PHP. So let's do a select statement. So it's going to look kind of like this. Select all from the guests table and order by last name, first name. And let's see, we're going to do our result. And the result is going to equal database. And it's a query. Right, query. And we're going to query this. I am so not going into explanations right now. I really am just feeling like bleh. But honestly, you're getting the point of everything as we go along. So let's go ahead and run a while statement for PHP. This will go through all the rows and fetch our results. A while there's information in there. Fetch it. Fetch it. That's right, I'm singing. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and just echo this stuff out. So we're going to grab the stuff from first name and concatenate a space in here. And we're going to grab last name. Oops. And let's echo out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what? Let's say had this to say. And I'm going to give myself a little break there okay so we're going to grab the comments row we're gonna do the substring so that we can put a limiter on how much information is coming out was it comments or comment yeah comments And let's see, let's go zero to blah, 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 blah. Let's just do 50 places. And I think that's it. Let's echo a break in here just in case we have more information. <laughs> That should do it. So we'll go ahead and save this and refresh this, and it should pull the information from the database. Oh no, line 26. Line 26, XO, X, XO, echo, row, blah, blah. Oh, ha. That should do it. Let's refresh it now. There it is. Jeffy Nunya had this to say I am feeling like poop. That's it. That's SQL and PHP in the basics of basic terms. You can insert information into your database. You can grab information from it. Not a lot of detail in this one, but really doesn't need a lot of detail. This is the basics of it. Ah, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. See you later.